this is a cross section of the front lower leg. The black arrow indicate the coffin bone. This is the distal sesamoid bone or navicular. This is the attachment of the deep digital flexor tendon with a coffin bone. This is the second phalange. This is the attachment of the superficial flexor tendon with the second phalange. This is how all the pieces articulate together. On the 27 horses, then we have rehabilitated for navicular syndrome. It was a kinematic abnormality, which was the same for every horse. The cause was different. The re-education was different, but the kinematic abnormality was the same. We are demonstrating here the difference between normal kinematic and kinematic abnormality causing excessive pressure between the deep digital flexor tendon and the naviculaire. This is normal kinematic. At impact, the fetlock translate down and the cannon bone move forward. Before the cannon bone pass the vertical, the fetlock translate upward. In case of navicular, which we illustrate here, the cannon bone pass the vertical. Therefore, the fetlock translate down, the cannon bone move forward, then the cannon bone pass the vertical. Then excessive pressure is created between the deep digital flexor tendon and the distal sesamoid bone. The bony colon is exercising a down force on the distal sesamoid bone. And as the cannon bone moves forward, the deep digital flexor tendon is exerting a force upward. As a consequence, excessive pressure occurs between the navicular and the deep digital flexor tendon. At the sequence of the stride, all the weight is on the forelegs and therefore the horse cannot protect. We play with the manipulation and you can see the pressure exerted on the navicular bone. When the cannon bone moves forward, the deep digital flexor tendon is pulled upward and therefore the pressure increases between the navicular and the deep digital flexor tendon, which is where is the apparition of navicular syndrome. The specimen has been washed before the manipulation, and you can see when we put pressure, the air bubble who come out on the base of the navicular, on the junction between the navicular and the deep digital flexor tendon. This illustrates the pressure that the kinematic abnormality cause on the navicular bone. Correcting the kinematic abnormality permits the remodeling process to restore soundness. Thank you.